Welcome back to Supreme Science and this is how you use a disposable glass pipette. We've got three different kinds for you here today and we're only going to show you how to use one of them because how you use one of them is the same how you use all of them. Let's get started. You find yourself one of these rubber bulbs, all right? Now all they do is just seal onto the top of one of these pipettes. You take it, you simply grasp one in your hand, grasp the other in the hand, put, put the lip over the tip and pull it on over. Make sure it's seated on there fairly well. You don't want that coming off. Great. It's on there. Fantastic. It's a, it can be a little cockeye. That's not a big deal. As long as it's on there, maybe half a centimeter or, or even less. That's totally fine. All right? It's not coming off. You see that? Now, important note, you never want the contents of whatever's going to be inside here getting inside the bulb because the bulb is transferred and kept between different disposable pipettes. And you might contaminate. In fact, you will contaminate your other samples if you invert uh, this if there's anything inside here. So best practice during before and after never ever take a pipette Turn it sideways or upside down. Here's how you use it. Grab it with your fingers in your hands Having just your thumb and your index finger on the bulb and simply insert it into the liquid or solution of your choice Depress the bulb expelling the air release your thumb and index finger from the bulb which creates a vacuum sucking up the solution that you're trying to pull Pick it up, you can see it's in there, and it's as simple as that. And you can see why you don't want to turn this sideways. It's a bad time for everybody. And now you just expel it, and you're done. Give it a couple squirts, make sure everything comes out. Take your rubber bulb off to be reused, and dispose of your glass pipette in the appropriate glass waste. Actually, you'll want to do that like this. Thanks again for watching, guys. Leave a comment down below. Tell me some of the horror stories if you've seen, uh, you know, people misusing or impro improperly using uh, pipettes in the lab. Be sure to subscribe and leave a like, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.